I would focus on youth development. Um, so a large part of my job is I do summer camp. I actually partner with Ryan on that. Um, and then I do before and after care, um, preschool. So a lot of programs that some of you in this room may have participated, whether you were four years old or you were in eighth grade and you were a CIT. Um, there's likely, I've been there for five years, so I may look familiar to some of you. You do not have to admit it, that's fine. <laughs> Um, but I did a lot of programs that a lot of you probably were in, uh, or maybe you have friends or older siblings that worked in those programs, because we do hire a lot of Wheeling High School students. So, excited to be here, um, and I'll let Ryan introduce himself. Yeah, hi everyone, my name's Ryan. Um, I am a Recreation Services Manager for the Park District. Um, some of the things that I oversee are our youth and adult sports programs, so um, basically any athletic um, sports program that we offer at the Park District, a lot of them come through me. Um, so whether it's a soccer league, a basketball league, all something that maybe um, you participated in in the past or maybe you have a sibling that's participated in um, or even um, have potentially had something that worked in our program before too. Um, so and then like Dallas, I also work with summer camp. Um, so if you've ever participated in a summer camp um, program at the Park District, that is another area that I am involved in. Hi guys, I'm Emily. I'm the special events manager, so I plan on Club at the Park, uh, Sunday concerts, Friday night concerts, as well as dance, tumbling, and gymnastics, and uh, fine arts programs. Perfect. <laughs> All right, bring your attention back you over to me. Stuff. All right, how many of you have done stuff at the Park District? Summer camp. Oh, nice. Okay, what did you do at the Park District? Pool, visit, or swim lessons, or both? Visit, outside or inside? Outside, nice. Did you have fun? Yeah. Who else? Who else done something at the park district? What'd you do at the park district? I went to preschool there. You went to preschool there? Do you remember who your teacher was? Uh, Miss Decker. Miss What'd you do at the park district? Basketball. Who else? Anyone else? Yeah. I have a membership there, a gym membership. Gym membership? Right, right, awesome. What did you do for our district? Preschool, did you remember who you teach us? I had two. Mrs. Lessman, maybe, Mrs. Stecker. Cool, outside or inside? Who else? What did you do for our district? Camp, do you remember what camp you were in? Adventure camp? Awesome. Yay. Anybody else? Okay. If you were in those programs, well, what did you really like about them? Anything particular? No? You were forced to go and you didn't like it? Yeah, yeah, you talk back. all the time. <laughs> Ryan to hire 
um, seasonal staff, okay? Um, so opportunities to be a camp counselor, another big thing, the aquatics manager's not here, but we also need a lot of lifeguards during the summer, okay? So raise your hand if you're hoping to or you're looking into the option of having a job at some point in high school. Who wants to have a job? We have a job, then we can do fun things, right? Because everyone loves money. Okay. So, opportunities at the park district. There are tons of opportunities to apply for jobs. It's a great place to work. We don't want you to feel like your only options are to work in retail or fast food. You could do something fun like coaching, um, counselor, which are all skills that are gonna translate when you leave high school, which while I know we're in it, we're in the beginning of it, does go fast, right? So we're setting you up for success. There are those opportunities at the district. Um, when you are 15, depending on the job description of what you're applying for, if it is something you're able to apply for, you wanna look at the job description. If you are, and you are offered a position, whether it's at the district or it's at Target, okay? They're going to, if they offer you the job, they're going to tell you you need a worker's permit. Who knows what a worker's permit is? You know what a worker's permit is? Do you want to share or you want me to talk? You want to talk? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so a worker's permit is a little bit of an extra step, but it's for a reason, right? We have to make sure that we get that. So they might be offered a job, you've been offered as a camp counselor, I do need you to go get a worker's permit. It's part of your paperwork, okay? So you'll go to your main office and let them know that you've been offered a job, you're going to start working and you need that. Okay, it's really important that we're responsible. This is where that falls on us. We decided we were responsible, we want a job, we want to work. Now we need to be responsible right off the bat by going to get our workers permit and understanding it takes a little bit of time, okay? If you get hired for a job for the summer, do not wait till school is out to try and get it. You cannot start working until you get that workers permit, okay? There's more people involved than just ourselves, so we have to be responsible with that, okay? Um, and then you would get that. Once you turn 16, you don't need that anymore, okay? But even if you turn, like, in July, but you're starting to work in June, you do have to get that worker's permit, so that's important to know, okay? We start hiring for summer camp and lifeguards around January, so it's pretty far in advance, and we do have a lot of employees that come from our local high schools, including yours, okay? You want to talk about your, who you hire for? Yeah, absolutely. So, a um, little bit about opportunities that I have. Um, I'll talk about a little bit summer camp and other opportunities there. Uh, I oversee, like I said, our athletic programs. So um, I have <clears throat> opportunities for coaches. Um, I have opportunities for program leaders. Um, I have opportunities for instructors for different sports classes. Um, a bunch of different opportunities, whether you want to work for our programs or if you want to volunteer for our programs. If you're looking for something where maybe you need, maybe you need a few volunteer hours and you're looking for a way to be involved, at the park district, well, you can be a volunteer coach. Um, maybe you've played soccer before, maybe you've played basketball before um, in one of those roles, but uh, now you want to switch it up and kind of be a mentor um, or like a volunteer coach for the program. Um, and what that entails is really just one, one to two times per week, you're coming into the park district and you're coaching a youth soccer practice. We have kids that are in our programs as little um, as kindergartners who um, have a soccer team or a basketball team um, that are just learning about the sport and are just getting introduced into the sport and need um, a coach to coach their team. Um, so if that's something that uh, is something that you might be interested in, um, in, in running a practice and, and coaching a game, it's really like two to three hours um, per week. Um, and I have a lot of different opportunities depending on the season. I have um, an upcoming winter basketball league where um, I have kindergartners through eighth graders who um, are going to be um, put into teams and um, will need a coach for their team. So um, whether it's something that you're looking for in the volunteer opportunity or an opportunity to work for the park district, um, I have a bunch of that available. Yeah, in addition to Ryan's volunteer opportunities, I do special events. So raise your hand if you've ever been to a concert or unplugged at the park or um, any special events at the park district. Yeah. Pool party. What have you been to? Okay. Anyone else? No? Okay. So, um, volunteer opportunities for special events. Um, we have about one to two op volunteer opportunities each month in the summer. So we have our Kids Fest and our Car Show and our International Festival. So I know that you guys have to do Harper Promise. So, um, I can get you guys those hours and being a volunteer is super easy with us at the Park District. It's just a few, um, 
few pieces of paper you fill out and send it to me and we can get you set up and I can get you about five to ten hours a month throughout the summer. So if you guys need to fulfill that um, Harper promise, I can help you do that. So it's just really important to understand that you have options, right? You have options of stuff that you can participate in that doesn't have to be school related. It could be with stuff that's started at school. If you want to play more basketball and you're looking for stuff to do in off season or you want to go shoot around with your friends and it's the winter and you don't know where you can go, Park District. Okay, we have a schedule online. Reach out to Ryan. He can let you know the opportunities, let you know. Um, if there's something that you're interested in, like I mentioned I coach field hockey. I tried field hockey at the park district. I didn't get too many kids to come out and participate, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't ever want to try it again if some people came to me and said that was something they were interested in learning about. Okay, That's what we're here for. Our jobs are literally the most fun jobs. You're going to look at us like you're just saying that. I'm not lying. We get to play with kids, teenagers, we get to run programs, we get to try new things, learn new games, we get to do all sorts of things. And we fell into this career because we like to do a little bit of everything, right? And we were able to have people like us sit and talk to us when we were in your chairs and tell us about these different opportunities. So we just want you to know that we are down the road, we're not far away, we do have opportunities, we want to hear what you're interested in. Um, you know, it's no pressure. You don't have to tell us right now, but we're here. Our ears are open, um, and we're constantly looking and evolving and trying to do as much as we can. We're going to pass on a piece of paper, so if you're at all interested in, you need to get volunteer hours, you want to start figuring out what that would look like, you're potentially interested in maybe working, anything, or you're looking to connect, uh, you can just put your name and your email. Please have clean handwriting so we can make sure that we send it to you, okay? Just pass along. If you don't want it, then pass it to the next person because someone else in the room might want it. Uh, but do any of you have questions? When I was in high school, I volunteered and helped. Actually, even earlier than that, I volunteered with my coaches and I started coaching field hockey. I really love field hockey. It was something fun to do other than like sitting at home, especially in the winter. And now that's part of what I do. And I love it, and it's a huge passion of mine. And I get paid to do it, which is really fun, right? It's nice when you get to get paid for something that you love to do and you're passionate about. Those are opportunities that you have, okay? They're there for you, okay? So just feel like you can always reach out to us.